With a newfound sense of purpose, Sam, Lucy, and Detective Max embarked on their journey to find Carlotta Devereaux. They gathered their detective gear and piled into Sam's trusty old bicycle, pedaling furiously through the winding streets of Oakville. Until they reached the grand gates of Devereaux Mansion. As they approached the mansion, its imposing facade loomed over them like a fortress, surrounded by tall iron gates and lush greenery. Sam's heart raced with excitement and a hint of nervousness as they contemplated their next move. We need to find a way inside, Detective Max said, scanning the perimeter for any signs of entry. Sam's eyes lit up as he spotted a gap in the hedge, just big enough for them to slip through unnoticed. With a nod from Detective Max, they carefully made their way through the foliage and emerged on the other side, facing the magnificent mansion. Stay low and stick to the shadows, Detective Max whispered, leading the way towards the mansion's rear entrance. They moved swiftly and silently, their senses heightened as they approached the mansion's back door. Sam's heart pounded in his chest as he reached for the handle, his hand trembling with anticipation. With a gentle push, the door creaked open, revealing a dimly lit hallway beyond. They slipped inside, closing the door behind them with a soft click. The mansion was eerily quiet, the only sound being the faint echo of their footsteps on the marble floor. Sam's senses were on high alert as they explored the labyrinthine corridors, searching for any clues that might lead them to Carlotta Devereaux. They checked every room, meticulously examining every painting, sculpture, and piece of furniture for any signs of the stolen artwork. But the mansion seemed to hold its secrets close, revealing nothing to their prying eyes. Just as they were about to give up hope, Sam spotted something peculiar, a hidden compartment behind a bookshelf. Inside, they found a stash of stolen artwork, including the missing painting from the museum. We did it. Sam exclaimed, pumping his fist in the air. But their victory was short-lived, as they suddenly heard the sound of barking echoing through the mansion. Uh oh, Lucy whispered, her eyes widening in fear. They had forgotten about Carlotta Devereaux's guard dog, a massive, snarling beast with sharp teeth and a ferocious growl. With no time to spare, Sam, Lucy, and Detective Max made a mad dash for the exit, narrowly escaping the clutches of the guard dog. As they emerged from the mansion, their hearts still pounding with adrenaline, Sam, Lucy, and Detective Max exchanged triumphant glances. With the stolen painting safely in their possession, they wasted no time in heading straight to Detective Max's office. We couldn't have done it without you, Detective Max, Lucy said, her voice filled with gratitude. Detective Max smiled warmly, clapping Sam and Lucy on the back. You kids did an incredible job. You're true detectives in every sense of the word. With the case officially closed, Detective Max wasted no time in escorting Sam and Lucy to the police station, where they were greeted with cheers and applause from the officers and onlookers alike. The police chief shook their hands firmly, praising them for their courage and determination. You're heroes, each and every one of you, the police chief declared, his voice ringing out proudly. Sam beamed with pride as he looked at Lucy and Detective Max together, they had not only solved the case but had also proven themselves as capable and resourceful detectives. With a twinkle in his eye and a smile on his face, Sam looked at Lucy and Detective Max, knowing that whatever challenges lay ahead, they would face them together, as a team. And so, as they set off into the sunset, ready for their next adventure, Sam couldn't help but feel a thrill of excitement coursing through his veins. Because with Lucy by his side and Detective Max leading the way, there was no mystery they couldn't solve, no puzzle they couldn't crack.